Hello everyone, Chitrug of this side. So today we are creating falling leaves effect in Unreal Engine 5.4 with the help of Niagara system obviously. So first of all, uh, I am going to add a tree here so that you can understand better. For that I have downloaded a tree pack from Epic Game Marketplace which is a free. If you don't have, go and download it. So it's entirely free. Okay, uh, which is a normal Apple. I I show you now on the screen. Okay, go to the geometry, simple wind. Okay, that's fine. I think this reads okay. Okay, that's fine. This one is fine. Uh, let me adjust it so it looks better. Okay, that's fine. So now for the falling leaves, we need a three items, which is a texture. Uh, leaf texture, second is a material and third one is a Niagara system. For that, I am going to folder material which I uh, recently created for tutorial and here we add a here I add a, some leaf texture which I downloaded from the Google. Uh, you can also download it, it's very easy, you know. Okay, so I show you the texture. Okay, this is texture. We need only green part, not white. I'll show you how to do that. Close this and go to the uh, create a material here right click material name it falling leaf okay that's fine I double click on it first of all check two sided opaque instead of opaque go to go for a translucent okay so drag and drop here our uh, image texture Grab a RBG pin and connect to the base color. Now look, the problem is emerges here. Okay, so we don't need that white part. We only need a green part. For that, go to the texture and find out which pin refers to the green part. Okay, disable red. No, it's not. Disable green. It's not. Blue. I think blue one is okay. So I'll go with the blue one. Grab a blue pin and connect to the opacity. Oh no, we don't know. We don't want this. We want reverse of it. For that, we uh, we have to convert the pin to one minus. Okay, we have a pin for that. Right click and type here one minus. Connect to this and to opacity. Now look, our problem is solved. Okay, so change it uh, of course Run, make, make sure while creating anything in Unreal Engine you have to save frequently so that engine crash you get your work back ok so here I'll check additive for additive what it looks no I don't know I don't want this opex what is this no I think translucent is best. Okay, I'm going to save it. Now our second step is completed. Now we need one Niagara system. Right click, go to Niagara system and select first one new system from selected emitter. Click next and here is a pre-made templates given by Unreal Engine itself. So I'm not going into deep. So use it. Uh, it's for us to save our time. I'm going to add a blowing particles template click here add here finish name it ns falling leaf effect okay done a double click on Niagara system if you have a dedicated GPU if you have a dedicated GPU so first of all convert go to the properties uh, don't afraid it it's not a big thing go to properties and here is the same target convert CPU to GPU same compute it's already computed for me okay so now we have to change this white sprite particles into our leaf so click on a sprite renderer here is the material we have to change it to the leaf click on a leaf material which is created yet recently okay or uh, 
here is the short arrow click here make sure it's selected and click here to change it so now leaves are changed instead of that white particle uh, it take time for preparing shaders okay so you you see it's very very small so I am going to convert it to large okay. so go to the initialize particle uh, this is the lifetime that that can uh, 12 second minimum 12 second lifetime max is 15 second so I am not going to change it we need this fright attribute convert it 50 to 16 I think it's better for our tree look now tree uh, now leaves are visible okay so go now second step is go first of all I'll show you how it looks drag and drop our what drag and drop our system here so that we can judge what we are going to do okay drag and drop system here okay leaves are coming one more thing uh, forgot to tell you that this is only 15 particle per spawn rate okay so we are going to change it to the 100 at least so go for that go to spawn rate and here is the change instead of 15 change it to 100 so we get more leaves falling from the tree close it now look where are where they are going I think I changed to sphere size go to the shape location and here you find a radius sphere radius increase it I think that's fine okay is it or may I increase some no it's I think it's too much oh that's fine okay so, so I'm going to save it look I am only saying you the way how to create you can get a uh, 10 times better output than me if you tweak values accordingly your creativity okay so that's all these are the falling leaves coming from the trees as you see and the wind effect is strong you can change it by the Niagara system so let me change the direction of light so that look it's better okay so that's all for today guys hope you like this video like share subscribe and we will meet in another one thank you so much